Hey, Philby, how you doing, mate? Good, Grant. How are you? Yeah, you call me Grant. Yeah. It's very Kiwi sensitive of you because you're aware I live in New Zealand where they say Grant, but I'm hey. from Melbourne where they say Grant. Exactly. So what's happening? Well, life is good here in New Zealand, but it's been a while since I've been in Australia, Melbourne, you know, where the family is. Mm -hmm. So I've decided to bring the family to New from New Zealand to Melbourne in July and just sort of wondering whether you're going to be around in July, like the start of July, first couple of weeks? Yeah, yeah. You'll be around? Well, yeah. Well, do you think there's any chance that Paul would be in Melbourne around that time? Paul Coleman? Yeah, Paul Coleman. You remember him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. We, should we try and get him on the call and ask him? Well, just before you do, just just know that, you know, we in the trio, we haven't been playing shows together. We haven't been doing much stuff together, but we always would love to do that. If we all found ourselves in the same city at the same time, it'd be good to do a gig, wouldn't it? Yeah. And we had this agreement that for the for PC3 to play together, it has to be comprised of Phil Gordian, you, Grant Norsworth, you, me, and Paul Coleman. Hmm. Just know that if Paul is not in town in July, I've found a guy named Ian Coleman. It's it's close. Right. But he's prepared to change his name from Ian to Paul. <laughs> well, that could work. So he could do a gig with us. But let's try Paul, shall we? But, well, let's see. Let's see if he's in town. Just know that if he's not in town, maybe we could do something. He's coming on now. Paul. Oh, great. Mate. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Chat. It's great that we can catch you, Paul. How you doing? Oh, good, mate. I'm in the desert having a great time. Oh, nice. Hey, um, what, what are you doing? Phil, you're in your studio. That looks good, mate. I love it. Thanks. Great. You're in the studio. Yeah. You're in the I'd desert. Rather be, out, rather be outside. Um, yeah. the Mojave Desert, Joshua Tree National Park. Phil, why don't you tell him what we've been talking about? So, um, it turns out Grant is coming to Melbourne in early July. What are you, you doing? Mean, you mean Grant? Yeah. Well, Grant, Grant. Oh, he's by Grantall. Okay. Um, <laughs> Grant's going to be where? He's going to be in Melbourne. Melbourne, Australia. Okay. Where Phil lives. He does and has for quite a while. So, so this is what you guys have come up with so far that you know where you live? <laughs> <laughs> no, but okay, jokes aside, you're going to be in Melbourne. You're going to be in Melbourne. Wondering if you might be in Melbourne. We would like to do a Paul Coleman Trio concert. If you weren't going to be in Melbourne, we have found a guy called <laughs> Ian Coleman. Um, he has he has an Ian Coleman. Um, <laughs> his Coleman is C O L E M A N, unlike your Coleman C O L M A N. So, and not <laughs> funnily, his first name is Ian, but he's prepared to change his name from Ian to Paul so he could do a gig with me and Phil, uh, thus uh, completing all the requirements of a Paul Coleman trio show. Because, as you know, Paul Coleman. We need to have a band made up of Paul Coleman, Phil Gordon. And so let me just let me just Brand stop Orton. you right there. I uh, I'm not sure about this guy yet, but let me let me let me see if we can. So I'm planning on being uh, in New Hampshire, in Massachusetts, Connecticut, Texas, and Tennessee in July at the same time. Uh, well, <laughs> via satellite? No, but that's late July. So when are you talking about? Because I was thinking of coming back uh, or being in Melbourne for um, early June to about the 25th of July. Ooh. But I'm coming back for the footy. <laughs> Hang on. Fo footy, I understand. But also the three of us would be in Melbourne at the same time. Three of us being in the same city for any length of time hasn't happened for a while. Well, yeah. When, when are you going to be there, Grant? Grant? Well, from very late June into the middle of July. And I've been looking at my calendar. I think we could do a gig on July 7th, a Friday night. Friday night? Check your calendars right now. Check right. your calendars. Okay. Yep. I've got to first look at the footy fixture, as much as I love you guys. Footy's got really big to you. Carlton play Frio on the 6th. Did you say the 7th? July 7th, it's free. Yeah, Okay. <laughs> It's yeah. That would, you got a you got a, a Dalo gig in Tassie on the seventh, but you could be there on the sixth, Phil. No, the other way. I, I've got a I've got a gig in Tassie on the eighth, but I could be there on the seventh. That's what I was trying to say. That's even better. 
Okay. Are you so, are you guys serious about this? Like, come Hang on. on. Are you serious? <laughs> we could do it. We could do a gig. Are you really want to do it? How, when we last played, eleven years ago. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember any of the songs. <laughs> Twenty twelve. <laughs> Except for the ones you've still been doing at your own gigs. That's true. I do remember those. Didn't you write? Didn't you write these songs though? Uh, I guess, but that's no guarantee. Hey, um, so see, you got like a hundred percent. Like jokes aside, ha ha ha. You're dead serious. We'd have to practice. We, oh yeah, you're darn right. We would. <laughs> oh boy. We have a few days before maybe to practice. Grant, have you been playing much bass? I know that you've been playing a lot of guitar. I saw some of your videos. You're strumming it pretty well, mate. Not a whole lot of bass these days, but I'm I of of the belief that if I did couple of weeks of personal practice and three days with you guys, I could bring back half of my skills. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Your skills were already pretty half good. Half of my 20-year-old so skills. Better than most. <laughs> Two sticks. Okay, no, this is great. So July 7th, I, I, you're I, saying. I propose that we nail down this. July 7th, Friday night in Melbourne, let's do a gig. Just the three of us. We'll have to sack Ian Coleman, unfortunately. <laughs> great loss. Can you let him know, Grant? That'd be good. Yeah, that's that's the downside of all this. We need we need a venue. We'll need a venue. We'll find oh, a yeah. venue. But in Melbourne, one night up. Maybe we can work on that in the next week and let people know a venue. Are you we're seriously doing this? Yeah. Paul Coleman Trio. One night only. An evening of unrepentant nostalgia. <laughs> yes. I tell you what, Grant. All this um, singing and writing and stuff, it's made you quite fluent with your language. It's brilliant. What did you say? A night of unrepentant nostalgia. One show only. I like that. Three, the Paul Coleman Trio. And we do all the songs that, I don't know, we want to play but people want to hear. Sounds good. We should post this video and see if anyone's interested. But either way, let's do it. July. So you're saying, let's, are you serious? We're going to do this. July. Yeah, let's do it. Hold on with Rio. Who's in? I'm in. Uh, I have never done that virtually before. Trio. <laughs> um, one thing I want to let you guys know is that, um, you know, I, uh, in therapy, I learned that I kind of ate my grief a little bit. And um, and so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to trim down for this show a little bit. I'm going to have to trim down. But one of the ways you can do that is just by changing. I've just been, while you guys have been talking, I downloaded this picture. And look, now I'm the thing. Oh, my goodness. You see what I'm That's saying? That's going to be like the year 2000. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at this that hair colour. Watch Grant, watch Grant. Hey, guys, you might call that hair colour brown or sort of pale brown, but it's actually 6N and Brooke would buy it for me online. 6N. 6N was my hair colour, not brown. This is natural now. What do you think? I love I it. Like I love it. it. I love it. I could, I could that probably face, though, you can pretty much do anything. I could probably find a blonde wig if we really want to. No, mate. Just be you. No. You be you. We should all just be us. And, hey, yeah, it's, it. it's been a, lo a lot of years since we've played regularly together, but let's let's have fun. Let's okay, so this is happening July 7. Yeah, yes. let's do it. Okay, I'm in 100%. Great. And then we'll just make an announcement about where and what time and all that. All right, we've got some homework to do, haven't we? Find a venue, sort that out, way for people to buy tickets. Should only take a week or so, right? Yeah, we'll get it together, I think. All right, I'm, I mean, guys, this is fun. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> a night of unrepentant nostalgia. That's yeah. a good line. <laughs> All right, should we sign off for now? Yeah. Yeah, how do we used to sign off in the old days? Oh, yeah, 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 I got it, I got it. Hi, I'm Paul. I'm Grant. And I'm Phil. And we were... <laughs> And we still are the Paul, Paul Coleman, Coleman Trio. Trio. <laughs> All right. right. Let's more do info it. soon. Yeah, more info soon. We'll see you in Melbourne, July 7th.